Hello and welcome to the program. Ukraine's reform progress is showing no signs of slowing down. This week we're taking a look at road reform. Joining us in the studio is Viktor Zagreba. He's a manager for reforms in Ukraine's road sector, the Ministry of Infrastructure. So welcome. Thank you. So just to start things off, obviously Ukraine uh, is not hasn't had the best record in terms of road safety over the past decades. That's correct. Um, you know, what is being done currently in the Ministry of Infrastructure and what has been done, what's the progress report? What can you tell us about the latest developments? Mm -hmm. uh, you're absolutely correct. You, our country has one of the poorest performance rates in the field of road safety. Around 5,000 people get killed every year and from 30 to 40,000 thousand people gets injured. Uh, unfortunately, not much has been achieved yet, uh, but we have a lot of uh, expectations and a lot of good plans for the year that's, uh, that, that is coming. Uh, first of all, uh, as you probably know, uh, the road fund reform is going now, and since uh, January 1st, uh, all uh, gas tax, all uh, car uh, uh, taxes will go to, to a dedicated fund, uh, which is called the National Road Fund. And uh, for the first time in the Ukrainian history, uh, a large margin of this fund will be allocated to road safety. Precisely, it's 5% of the whole road spending should be spent on road safety. Next now, wh year, What's next the year, estimate of that? What's the estimate uh, of these yeah, funds? Ne next, next year, this road safety segment uh, will be around 1.6 billion hryvnia. That's and what's being planned for 2018. Yes, exactly. And that's what we are being responsible now for, for planning how to spend this money to achieve the highest efficiency and to save as much life lives as possible so, over the next three years. So what are the some of the key priorities in terms of budget spending for this part, uh, part, uh, particular issue? Uh -huh. The top uh, three. Top three. Uh, one is to curb speeding, because speeding is uh, the number one killer on the roads. Everybody speeds and there is no speed enforcement over the last three years. So a large portion of this money will go on uh, speed enforcement, speed cameras and IT systems and everything that's needed for that. Uh, second uh, key point is infrastructure, because we are the Ministry of Infrastructure. And as, you, as everybody notices, Ukrainian roads are very wide and very straight. Intersections are not well designed in many cases and pedestrian safety is very poor. So a lot of money will go into building circular roundabouts, circular intersections, traffic lights, uh, safe pedestrian crossings, etc. Now, what uh, about, for, for example, um, cameras? in order to surveillance the roads and kind of fixate any any types of uh, mistakes and potential violations that that, mm -hmm. that that drivers make. Are there any plans for that? Uh, certainly. Uh, the Ministry of Internal Affairs is responsible for that and they are almost, uh, they have almost finished building this plan how, how it's going to work. And the plan is that the government will only uh, own and maintain the IT system, like this is, uh, the huge system that will uh, receive and process information and send envelopes with, with, with tickets to violators. Uh, but the cameras it's themselves, they should be purchased and maintained by owners of the roads. In the case of Ukraine, ro all the roads belong either to cities, to municipalities, or to Ukraftador, the National Road Agency. And some roads uh, belong to oblast administrations, so they will be responsible for buying the cameras, installing the cameras. Uh, the government will connect the cameras to a governmental server and will start sending the fines. Mm -hmm. And a portion of, 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 of revenues will go back to the local uh, governments that right, but, to, but to have money to, to maintain the about, system. If you know, regional and municipal government. Uh, governments that will be responsible basically for maintaining the cameras and purchasing them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how much money do they, do they actually have to spend on that? Because there's there's constant talk of how much there isn't actually enough money in the budget for, for municipal government. And this will be another thing well, that they would have to purchase. I mean, uh -huh. well, with, with the decentralization reform, local governments, they really do have money. And uh, I don't remember exactly the amount, but 
I think more than 1 billion euros is now being uh, saved on deposits from, by, by municipalities, so they don't spend the money, they just put them into the bank for, for, for later times. So they do have money. Uh, first point second point they will get a share of revenue from from the from the penalties from the fines speeding fines so it's not only mm -hmm. like it's not like waste of money they will return the money by in monetary form by, by by penalties and they will save the money by saving the life of their people because people injured and people killed on the roads it's a huge huge loss for local economies Right. Well, I'm sure the municipal governments will have some kind of revenue, uh, or that's what at least the ministry is hoping exactly. from, from these um, road safeties. Now, what about some of the standards that Ukraine is trying to reach You know, around the country? It's trying to reach European standards, Western standards. Now, in terms of uh, road standards for mm -hmm. more European, you... Uh, recent, like you just mentioned, mm -hmm. more roundabouts mm -hmm. in order to decrease traffic potentially. Um, what in would order this to decrease speed? Yeah, and speed, mm -hmm. right? Um, so, what would that mean for um, a, a bustling city like Kiev? For Kiev, it's not gonna, it's gonna, it's not gonna change much because uh, the problems of Kiev is there is the responsibility of the government of Kiev, and Kiev unfortunately have has a very poor. Uh, transportation policy in general so cities need uh, they have the authority they have the 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 money to to implement and to design and implement good policies to to prioritize public transit to prioritize bicycles pedestrians you know and to manage parking policies and they just have to learn how to do it and to do it uh, and as for standards uh, standards of road construction in the cities are, are being revi re revised now and they, they we hope they will be approved by the ministry of regional development by the end of this year and they are much better in terms of road safety they they really allow and they uh, prescribe to build safer inter intersections, safer roads, safer pedestrian crossings, and we also one of the things that we plan is to 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 publish guidelines like people do have in Germany, in Austria, in Canada, in the U.S. guidelines for road planners but how, how to design are those how to really? design roads. But how 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 effective is a guideline? They are super effective if they are approved by governmental institutions such as Ministry of Infrastructure, Ministry of Regional Development or the National Police. And if they, they are approved and they will be approved, then they will be kind of mandatory to right. use. And if, if the project does not meet those standards, it will be the reason why it's not approved, why it's not signed by officials. Right. But I mean, uh, why I ask, you know, in, in terms of fe effectiveness, in terms of guidelines, mm -hmm. uh, for example, I have this report um, uh, by the, uh, it's, it's called The Silent Epidemic of Road Traffic Fatalities in Ukraine uh, by Martin Razor. Now, he raises an issue about how poor road conditions, unsafe driving behavior and ineffective enforcement of traffic laws. Now, mm -hmm. out of those three things, I would say, in terms of guidelines now how would that work for unsafe driving behavior this is this is what you know how drivers behave this is something that's in their mentality mm -hmm. how how would a guideline help to change that uh, we have a lo much longer list of actions so guidelines are not the only thing for for the you're absolutely right about the importance of behavior how people behave because uh, uh, running on the red light is prohibited now, but uh, every other driver does it, and you can observe I've it in Kiev. I've yeah, seen it myself. I've seen it myself. Yeah, I see it definitely. every day. Uh, so really, uh, it's, it needs to be addressed. And what we plan in this in this uh, st strategy, in the strategic action plan, is to run uh, very specific, very targeted campaigns. So like set of activities to educate people, to show them uh, the the risks of behavior that they have now, and to show them the right. Uh, model of behavior and those campaigns will be massive they will include television uh, uh, outdoor advertisement uh, smartphones facebook etc and they will be targeted at one specific uh, issue at a time for example we'll start with speeding then seat belts uh, then uh, distracted driving when people use smartphones uh, while driving then uh, how to how to carry children in in the car then visibility at night for pedestrians and cyclists so th those are five major behavioral issues and we will be addressing them over so the next three years so right so you're 
planning yeah. to tackle tackle those, and I'm sure yeah. driving tests will also change, or kind of what goes into a driving test in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure Ukraine is also trying to reach uh, European standards oh, yeah. in, the, oh, yeah. Yeah, in yeah, those yeah. terms. That's also going on. Yeah, correct. Well, okay. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining me for, to talk about uh, road road safety and what Ukraine has been doing to improve that. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So that was Viktor Zagreba. He is a manager for reforms in Ukraine's road sector in the Ministry of Infrastructure. You're watching UATV. TV.